Now that Thanksgiving is over, I just want some simple, delicious, non-holiday food. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you one of my favorite quick and easy recipes, and that is Sloppy Joe Hasselback Potatoes. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, welcome. And everyone that's been here all along, welcome back. Welcome back to the kitchen. We're gonna do Hasselback Sloppy Joe potatoes. They're amazing. And they also look really, really pretty. Uh, I'm just gonna do four. I'm trying to get through some of the potatoes that I have not canned up from the summer's harvest. Some of them are like starting to get eyes on them. We want to use these up. And I don't have enough jars to can them in. So <laughs> trying to find potatoes, all the potato things. And um, we love this recipe. Very, very simple. I'm going to uh, give these a good scrub and then I'll bring you right back. This variety of potato that we grew is the Kennebec potato. They did so wonderfully. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take a couple skewers and I'm putting them, I don't know, maybe a quarter to half an inch up one side of the potato that way when I cut them it doesn't go all the way through and it'll give us that nice I think some people also call these jacket potatoes you guys see what I'm doing and then you just take your knife and you make little, oops. <laughs> little slits. Oh, that one came out too. Never mind, not too whatever. And you take the skewers out and you have this nice lovely potato and then I'm just gonna do that to the rest of these then I'm just gonna place these and here these are gonna bake for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to switch it to the air crisp method or function. Um, you can just do this in your oven and it'll be the same. I'm going to add some olive oil, drizzle some of that on top. salt and some pepper. Be back when they're done. <laughs> Someone asked to see our mantle. That is the mantle. Nothing fancy. This is like very minimal compared to what I've done previous years. I normally have um, garland, like big, I don't know what they are. They look like pine, pine boughs. And then I decorate on top of the pine boughs. So this is like my minimalist Christmas mantle for the year. Uh, I'm, on, I'm showing it because I've had someone ask to see it. So I hope you enjoy it. So the potatoes are just about fully baked. I'm going to heat up my sloppy joe mixture and show you how to finish this up. 
This is just a jar of my Sloppy Joe that I can. I believe I have a video. I'll look for it and link it if I forget. It's definitely going to be in my canning recipe playlist, so check that out. Just going to pop this into the microwave, and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna kind of separate these layers a little bit. This bigger potato kind of fell apart. It's okay, it's gonna taste delicious. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take that sloppy joe filling and kind of like spoon it in between the layers. Top it with cheese. Oh, yeah. Now I'm just taking a spoonful. Putting it in between each layer just like that. Then top it with cheese. And I'll bring you back when that's done. Um, after you top it with cheese, you just want to bake it for like another, I don't know, six. I think I have it set on. I have it set on seven minutes, but we'll see how long it takes. All right, here they are. <laughs> you can <clears throat> do this with chili dog sauce. I have a wonderful recipe, recipe for that. I will link that at the end of the video. Um, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can do it with Alfredo, spaghetti sauce, whatever, whatever you want to do. I just thought Sloppy Joe's sounded really good. And who doesn't love carbs? I know, I probably shouldn't eat them. Storage was full on my phone. I had to get rid of a few things. Um, possibilities are endless. You can do this any way you want. Stuff it with anything. They're very good. I've done a cheddar chicken and broccoli one before. I mean, try it. You will love it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below. And until next time, from our family to yours, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.